What's up, fellas? My name is Kung Fu Grip, and I am a compulsive reloader. Uh, you know, a lot of times I'll use weapons that have really high rates of fire, and as a result, uh, I find myself reloading them a lot just to ensure that I've got a full mag any time that I start an engagement. But when you get a one-hit kill sniper rifle, that's totally unnecessary, and uh, I totally over-reload this now that I look back at my gameplay. Hopefully this is something that I can kind of change up. Uh, anyhow, this is some uh, Battlefield 4 CTE footage. Uh, I hope that uh, you guys enjoy it. I'm going to give you a little bit of information on my experience with the CTE, my experience with the gameplay. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanted to have some sniper stuff here. There, I'm going to have about five guys pile out this door that I have a nice big fat 50 caliber bullet for. Um, so like I said, this is uh, uh, CTE stuff. Um, You'll notice up in the top right hand corner I've got my frame counter going. Uh, the reason I did that was I had actually had some uh, reports, uh, heard some people complaining about uh, the game, you know, having frame drops and things like that. That's something that this game was plagued with upon release and was really, really frustrating for a lot of users. So what I wanted to do was anytime that I'm playing in a CTE server, I go ahead and use my user.cfg file. Uh, to go ahead, turn that frame counter on, uh, just so I can go, hey, listen, am I, am I dropping any frames? Am I seeing any, any low frames? I think what a lot of people are seeing is that the game basically resets their video settings. So if they've tweaked their video settings at all or anything like that, uh, the game doesn't optimize necessarily for 60 frames a second. The game optimizes for, I would guess, between 30 and 45 frames a second. And so... That's really, if they leave leave the video settings at auto, that's what they're going to end up with. Uh, me, myself, personally, I run at a combination of uh, high, medium, and low settings. And the reason I do that is so that I can maintain 60 frames a second. I do have my system capped at 60 frames a second so that my video card is not having to work any harder than it, than it needs to. Uh, I'd like to get a 120 hertz or 144 hertz, 144 hertz monitor. The fact of the matter is I just don't have... Uh, the cash for that right now um, and to be honest I'm really enjoying the gameplay at 60 frames a second the video card I've got I've got a GTX 670 uh, that I got a killer deal on from Newegg and uh, you know I don't know that it could push 120 frames a second consistently I think I'd have to come down significantly on my video quality uh, in order to get uh, 120 frames a second when I turn the the cap rate limit off on my frames per second uh, you know, I, I usually get between 95 and 110 frames a second. I, you know, I never get any drops below probably, you know, 80 frames a second. So I do have a little bit of room, but like I said, you know, I would I would really have to reduce my quality, my graphics quality, in order to facilitate that. So it's been a while since I've done a video. Just want to give you guys an update. You know, I've got two teams that are, you know, kind of my favorite teams that are involved in postseason play right now. The OU softball team is uh, hosting a Super Regional this weekend. If they can beat Tennessee, then they'll be heading to the Women's College World Series that's hosted here in Oklahoma City. And then the Oklahoma City Thunder are playing the Spurs. They're down 0-2 on that. So hopefully we can uh, get it turned around now that we're back in Oklahoma City. Uh, you can see Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook's uh, numbers improve. Uh, see the uh, turnovers come down. You know, really, really excited about that. So, uh, before that, before all that kind of got going, I was fortunate enough to attend a Microsoft Tech Ed event. Uh, I tend to go to those every year. Uh, I work in IT. Uh, we've got some stuff going on. I'm running a, an email server upgrade project for about 5,000 users right now. And, uh, you know, the information that we get at Tech Ed is really important. But while I was there, they had Xboxes, Xbox One set up kind of all over the place. So while I was there, I played some Titanfall, really had a lot of fun playing that, got some pointers, was able to come home and, and uh, put those to good use. Um, anyway, though, so about the CTE, you know, it really looks like they've uh, improved the fluidity of the gameplay. We're seeing a lot more... Um, it's hard to describe. It's a lot more like Battlefield 3 than it is like Battlefield 4 in terms of what the experience of playing is like. Uh, there, you know, there's still some kill trades. There's not a lot of kill trades though. Um, it seems to be a little bit more fluid. A lot of a lot of my gameplay that I've had though, while I've I've been using the CTA client, has been in Europe, and I've been doing it with about a 130 ping. Uh, I have network smoothing completely turned off. However, it seems to be working pretty good. Um, 
you know, I, I really do look forward to them, you know, going ahead and upping the tick rate on their, their standard production servers. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm, I'm just going to kind of go off, you know, kind of tangent for a little bit is how many people, even in the CTE environment, just spend so much time complaining about the game. I mean, chat is just rolling over with all this complaining that they're doing about the game. Hey, if it's not fun, go do something else. Play a different game. Don't uh, waste your time playing. But if it's one of those deals that you want to give constructive feedback uh, so that the developers can make the improvements in this game that we all, you know, really like so much, then, you know, provide that constructive feedback and, and give them the chance to fix it. Um, you know, this is this is one of those deals that's kind of a, a pet peeve of mine, uh, you know, where people really want to complain and not give any solutions. Uh, the, I will say, uh, you know, it, it has been broken for too long. But when I was frustrated with the game, you know, I just kind of quit playing. I took I took some time off and went and did something else. So anyhow, um, I hope that you guys enjoy this. If uh, you would like some uh, uh, more videos like this, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment. I'd really love the feedback. If you think your friends would like this, go ahead and share the video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your summer. You have a great Memorial Day. This is Kung Fu, and I'm out.